Hi, this is Kevin for Pixavert.com. In this video, we're going to be looking at creating all sorts of borders in Photoshop CS6. We're going to be creating outside borders, inside borders, fancy borders, and grunge borders. start off by creating the first of the outside borders. The first thing I want to do is to create a solid color layer. I'm going to make this white, but you can make it whatever color you want. And I'm going to take that to the back and call it background. Next I'm going to activate the image layer and I'm going to bring up the crop tool. With the crop tool active, I'm going to go to the corner, hold down the Alt or Option key and just extend the canvas. Next I'm going to accept that change and that creates a nice looking outside border. To create an outside border with more precision go to image and choose canvas size. Next enter in the size of borders that you want. Make sure that the relative box is ticked and make sure also that the anchor point is right in the center. Then hit OK and this should create a nice looking outside border. Next I'm going to create the first of the inside borders. Make sure that the image layer is active. Go down to the FX icon and choose stroke. Now choose whatever color of border you want and then choose inside for the position and create whatever size border you want. You can switch this effect on and off by clicking on the effects icon. The effect is completely non-destructive as are all the techniques in this video. Next we're going to create an inside border using a layer mask. Choose the rectangular marquee tool. Draw a rectangle inside your image and then head over to the layers panel and click on the create layer mask icon. That gives us an inside border which is the same color as our background. Now activate the layer mask. Go to Windows and choose Properties. Then increase the feather amount. And this creates a nice looking traditional vignette type effect. With the layer mask active, go up to Filter and choose Filter Gallery. This allows us to create any number of fancy borders. You can use different filters in whatever order and combination you prefer. To start off with, begin with just the Glass Filter. You'll find the Glass Filter inside of the Distort folder. Change the settings to whatever suits your image. Next, go down to the New Effects icon, click on that and go to the Top Effect. Go up to the Brush Strokes folder and you can choose whichever option produces the kind of effect that you want. And you can keep on adding new effects on top of that. Once you've got something that you're happy with, press OK and you should have a nice fancy looking border. Now finally, if you're feeling lucky, activate the layer mask. Go to the properties panel again, but this time choose mask edge. Go down to the contrast and increase that all the way up to 100. Activate the smart radius and then increase the size of the radius until you get a grunge looking effect that pleases the eye. Photoshop will use the border that you had and also any textures that it finds inside of the image to create a modern raggedy looking grunge border. Now shift clicking on the layer mask itself will deactivate the border so this is another completely reversible non-destructive edit. 
So that's a few ways of creating photographic borders in Photoshop CS6. Hope you found that video useful. Thanks for watching. Take care. Till next time. Bye.